Greetings everyone, this is Pat Davis again. It's been a good while since I've posted uh, a video and there's been a lot of changes in a lot of places camp. So uh, let me let me show you some of the changes I've made. Earlier this year uh, my 2005 Ford Ranger, which served me so well, um, was totaled. A couple vehicles collided and just crashed into me and ended up totaling my, my old Ford Ranger. Um, but I wanted to make sure that my camper top, which is hanging there, um, would still fit on the, the replacement vehicle I got, so I got an updated Ford Ranger. So this is a 2011 Ford Ranger. Um, very same bed size, which was a, what, what I was looking for, but everything else is a little bit upgraded. Of course, it's a four-wheel drive because I like to go camping in four-wheel drive places, especially when I'm boondocking. You can get get off the beaten path a good deal with a four-wheel drive vehicle. One significant change I've made to my camping setup is pulling my camper top off and setting up a system to where I can lower it onto my bed and when I'm not camping raise it up and store it um, and charge it right there underneath uh, the deck. Um, I'll, I'll show you more about how I've done that. You can see these two uh, pulley systems right there, at least I hope you can. Those are heavy-duty winches made for um, hoisting boats onto trailers. And you turn the crank four times and the, the wheel and the, the webbed strap turns one time so it's got a really good ratio on the gearing that allows me <clears throat> to put those straps underneath the uh, the whole camper and the rooftop tent configuration and raise it from my bed when I'm not camping. Tie down straps that you see on all four corners are both for a little extra insurance because normally I have both the uh, the straps and the tie downs when it's just hanging there for storage purposes just to make sure that uh, nothing budges and so far it doesn't. I've reinforced the upper side of the deck with additional wood up there and using big huge washers to make sure they don't pull through. I know it's a considerable weight but uh, so far there's been no problems whatsoever with, uh, with it hanging and, and holding my camping setup. In my old setup I stored the batteries in the corner of my truck bed and actually had my inverter charger affixed to the front side of my truck bed. But I wanted uh, all of that weight to be pulled from the truck when I was not camping. So I made this camper top now totally independent and the camper setup is all the batteries are in there and the inverter is mounted. I'll show you that right now. Before we get into the internals I thought I'd show you how I've set up my my LED lights. Each one of those has a, a switch. They only pull I think it's like 37 watts. It's not bad at all. I've run the wiring inside my tubing here when I put my cap on there, it's it's weather sealed, and I just come out of here with a one wire to my my floodlight. Of course, each of these are swivable, if that's even a word, and you can turn it and face it in any way. I find those very handy when I'm setting up camp. All of that is controlled from in here. This is the same setup I had before. A big DC switch. Well, let me show you one addition. Since our last thing, I've installed little 12 volt DC lights. But this is how I control my inverter and charger. Looks like I got 12.6 volts here. This is my main cutoff. I cut off this, and all the all the power throughout the the camper top goes. My D, DC uh, fuse right there. That's my main fuse. This is my connection box where I run all my lights. Each one of those is fused. 
very little wattage so most of these fuses are either tens or fives these tens are for the the floodlights and these fives are for the little DC lights I have inside nothing as of yet is hooked to these that's working out very very well run all my wires down below <clears throat> come into the bottom of the connection box and now I'll show you where I've mounted my inverter and my batteries Got another switch right here for the lights inside my camper top. I guess you can see my magnum inverter mounted on a sturdy piece of wood there on the front side of my camper top. This is aluminum angle iron that's mounted. Uh, basically, I just cut an L hole here and it's resting right on the bottom of my toolbox on each side. I've taken the trouble to uh, try to run all my wires to keep them out of the way because I'm all the time when I'm camping tossing stuff into and out of the the camper top. The back side of my switch here. Everything's soldered and, and these are strapped down very well to the back side of my camper. There's a big ring back there that the batteries are strapped to. They're very, they're pretty well tight anyway. I, I doubt if they go sliding too awful much, but with this, these straps right here, I'm confident they won't move even if, even if I go off-road and do a good bit of bouncing. So that setup's working pretty well so far. Those pulleys that I showed you earlier do a good job raising and lowering the whole operation. This is the galley size, what I call it. Uh, I haven't got it stocked for, for camping yet. This is normally my, my convection plate and my coffee making stuff and all of that. All my food stuff goes on this side. This is what the galley um, receptacle looks like after I've mounted it. This is uh, what the second outlet looks like now that it's mounted. Notice that there's two USB chargers that come out of this receptacle. I think that's going to be awfully handy. I just stuck it on my left side because, well, I needed some power in the back. More for utility purposes and coming off of it with an extension cord or I could run my PA off of that, for instance. But I, I really love my little lights there. They, they make my camping experience a lot a lot better my awning of course for my Gorda gear rooftop tent which by the way is still doing so well I love uh, that was a great purchase right here big fan of, of the Gorda gear Explorer tent setup this is a really sturdy rain cover that that's not hard to get on and off but uh, the, the tent and the camper top uh, has served me well no matter what state I'm camping in and uh, what the conditions are. So that's, that's the update of my, my camping setup and changes I've made recently. The whole idea of having this setup is to go camping with it. And, and uh, later this month I've got a music festival all lined up and should... Should anything of interest pop up since then or after that, I'll, I'll let you know. But until then, this is Pat Davis. Thanks for watching. Bye.